I'm Joby Fawcett for the TimesTribune.com in my tour of the high school football two-a-day practices for high school football. The weather hasn't cooperated too much today. It's been raining all through the night. It's going to be a very soggy field out there for players throughout the Lackawanna Football Conference, but I'm sure they'll be excited to get back out there on the field. And our tour continues. Day two brings us here to Abington Heights. Now the Comets have been the dominant program in the Lackawanna Football Conference Division I. And despite losing a lot of starters to graduation, the one thing remains the same here at Abington Heights. The goal is to win and contend for a Division and District II Class AAA Championship. Now, since Joe Reps just took over the program, he has brought a very tough, defensive-minded approach to the game. One area where the Abington Heights Comets will have some experience back is at the middle linebacker position. Linebacker Matt Riggy, number 33, is one of the best in the entire conference, and he will be the emotional and physical leader of this unit. I'm, I'm as pumped as everyone. I mean, we're, we're looking to get out there and have a great time, win games, and uh, our coaches are going to help us through the way. Well, I'm very excited about this unit. Uh, one thing we preach here is, is, is defense, and we feel that uh, defense just takes effort, being disciplined, being in the right spots, uh, playing your gap responsibility, and flying around to the football. And Every day, the main key is just working to get better. Uh, fighting for positions, we're out here uh, battling each and every day, fill those spots for the guys we lost last year. Just uh, having fun, running around, making plays. Abington Heights will be a contender in Division I because of its outstanding defense. Our second stop on day two brings us here to Dunmore High School. Last season, the Bucks were one of the preseason favorites. They eventually reached the District 2 Class A Championship game, but they really battled through the 10-week season, had a lot of injuries to some starters. Now, Dunmore did graduate a lot of starting players, in particular up front on the offensive and defensive lines, but the strength of this team is going to be the defense, and the Bucks could be one of the teams to beat in the Lackawanna Football Conference Division 2 yet again this season. We're going to have to work our, our young line. It's very young. It's a uh, freshman, and there's a freshman and a couple of juniors on there, and uh, our defense is pretty good, a lot of starters back, and uh, I think we could make it to districts again. We have uh, some young guys, but they're really working hard, it should be a fun year. We're at the work a lot, we're going to have to work a lot with the young kids and everything, but I think we have the, the ability to go wherever we want, and uh, I think we could do it. Well, we're at my final stop on my second day of my tour around the camps. I'm visiting Scranton Prep. Now there's an awful lot of excitement surrounding the Cavaliers this season. Last year they had optimism to start the year but got hit by the injury bug very early in the year and had a hard time recovering. But they did build some momentum with a late season victory over Valley View. Scranton Prep does return quite a few starters from that team, especially in the skill positions. The Cavaliers, this senior class, when they were in the freshman class, finished unbeaten in the Lackawanna Football Conference Division II, so they are excited about that. It should be very interesting to see if the Cavaliers can stay healthy and get off to a good start, tough early part of the schedule with Lakeland and Dallas, they could be a contender in the Lackawanna Football Conference Division I. Uh, we have a lot of guys coming back that are pretty good. They played a lot last year, and we're just excited for the season. Yeah, we have to develop the young guys on the line. Uh, some of them have, have experience, not a lot of them do. We have some young guys that are big and strong. Uh, we have a quarterback battle going on right now and both of them are coming along very well and both of them could probably provide a lot of excitement for our offense. I think our, our backfield is going to pick up the pace a lot. You know, Marshall Kopinski and Clem Rinaldi both coming back at tailback and fullback and they're going to provide a lot for our offense as well as the other receivers and on um, our line we're going to be, be pretty set. That's it for day two of my tour around the camps. It started off as a very gloomy rainy day but the sun came out and all three schools got a lot done at their practices. Abington Heights, Dunmore, and Scranton Prep getting ready for their scrimmages coming up later in the week. Now our, my tour continues tomorrow. Long trip will begin at Lackawanna Trail in the morning. Take a long ride up to Susquehanna and finish up with Montrose. So make sure you stay with us as I continue my tour around the camps here on thetimestribune.com. <laughs>